Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the chaos metric model meeting. It's good to have you all here. Um, Elizabeth, if you could put minutes in the chat, that would be good. Just kind of keep that rolling. So I think the first thing on our agenda that uh, I want to point out to folks is that Don started a conversation about renaming the bus factor metric. So bus factor is a kind of a morbid metric in the sense of what happens to your project if somebody gets hit by a bus. And we're just looking at, at renaming that to something a little less morbid. So there's a whole conversation here in the, the issue. You can take a look at that. And then what Don did was opened up a poll for options for renaming bus factor. And so here you can see my results because I've already voted, uh, but only 13 people have voted so far right now. Lottery factor seems to be getting a few more votes. So basically what happens if somebody wins the lottery and they leave the project as opposed to being smushed by a bus and leaving the project. So if you would like to take a moment and uh, look at that issue and vote. This is going to be open till May 4th. And we just wanted to circulate this with everybody uh, in the different working groups. So if you have questions or comments, that would be a good time. Actually, I really don't know what that lottery factor mean in my context. Um, yeah, you may not have. In, in the US, we have what are called lotteries. And you... Yeah, I know lotteries, but I don't oh, okay. know lotteries. Like... <laughs> okay, so you don't have them in <laughs> in China. So, so let me explain just the idea behind lottery factor. The idea is uh, someone wins a whole bunch of money, and they retire on the beach, and they never come back to the project again. Aha, uh -huh. that's the factor. <laughs> okay, that's the factor. <laughs> So, for example, if I win ten million dollars, I will <laughs> not I will be. We'll never see over. Matt again. No, <laughs> no. they're all great people, but goodbye. <laughs> then I, I like I like I like this lottery factor more than the bus factor because that's true that I, every time I explain to to the people who don't understand the bus factor, I have to physically to explain what that it mean <laughs> so it's not that easy thing because it's not like joke vote. it's like I crush you to vote in the poll yeah yeah, yeah. okay I, I i i will vote now vote now okay <laughs> okay uh what's going on gary so hey, gotta be a few minutes late no problem so I think um, I wasn't in the last metric model meeting, but a couple had come up and I think they're continuing to come up that we'd like to, to put some closure to is what I'm thinking. Uh, we have sustaining contributors and project decline. It looks like there were some notes that Yehui had uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we put on some notes that uh, this metrics model is similarly like uh, the personnel model. So I, I, I mentioned that I could uh, introduce the uh, uh, personnel metrics model again because okay. uh, I have introduced that like uh, several months ago. But unfortunately, I, I I'm not prepared so well today. Um, nope. but but uh, but uh, I I I will make it happen next uh, meeting. Okay. Because in the past few weeks, uh, Rui Qiao from Peking University, it uh, she's a professor Minghui's uh, PhD student, yep. and she's preparing a lot about ISO standard. So after we discuss all the topic we prepare here, yeah. maybe we can hear some progress made by Rachel. That would be great. So I'd like to put that onto the 
agenda here. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, so in, in the meantime, could we take a look at this and kind of where we stand? I see a comment from Kevin. So I, this model is, from my perspective, about yeah, how we would look to sustain contributors. So we have people who have joined the project and the intention is to understand how well we are sustaining those contributors over time. So somebody like anybody joins the project and over some given amount of time, they are still there. So. Um, Kevin, do you want to, I don't know if you're on microphone at the moment, but I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to, do you have anything to say beyond <laughs> that sentence? But I understand uh, well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I, I agree with you. It's about how we, this, this one, I think we have another one that's about kind of welcomeness and how we kind of introduce contributors to the project. This one, this one does, it needs to be more about how we keep the contributors. So I think, I think we kind of need to be explicit in how those two are different. Okay. And the, the content I have here is just that the, the why it matters and the user stories are really focused more on how we bring contributors in, which I, which I will agree with. It's an important part of sustainability, right? Cause we need to continue to have more contributors. However, I, I think we need to differentiate this one uh, and kind of focus on this. This is really about how we keep contributors or or, or keep uh, that contribution activity going, right? Rather than uh, uh, it could maybe be inclusive of our welcome welcoming models, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think we do need to differentiate it in some fashion. Okay, so looking at this. Um... It, would this be a model for folks as to how we can sustain contributors or a model as to how we understand our ability to sustain contributors? See what I'm saying? Don, I'd like to hear more about your practitioner guide, what you're covering in that. Yeah, so the, let me just pull it back up. Um, so I'm, so the practitioner guides are not models. They're not related to models. Um, just to be, to be clear, we've had this, we've had this discussion before. <laughs> um, the three primary metrics that I talk about in the contributor sustainability guide are bus factor, contributors, and types of contributions. So it talks about basically it talks about the you know the trends that you can see across those three metrics and uh, how to diagnose problems and then it talks a lot about how to how to make improvements and the improvements section step four is pretty focused on promoting existing uh, getting getting more contributors and then promoting some of those contributors to become reviewers and maintainers so that you build your uh, leadership pipeline. It also talks about using things like good first issues and help wanted labels to help people find stuff to work, help contributors find stuff to work on. It talks about uh, contributor ladders, um, non-code contributions, and succession plans. So now the metrics model does not need to have anything to do with this contributor sustainability guide. Um, it's not intended to be tied towards models, but I just wanted you to all know that it was it was out here. It may it may give you some food for thought. I don't know. But when I look at this, and I understand there, I now do understand they are different. <laughs> so I'm not, so my words are not meant to imply that they are the same thing. But <laughs> when I look at when I do look at this, um, this really reads to me as you know you're a person or you're a group of people who are looking to to build that contributor sustainability and here are things that you should take a look at in terms of trends and here are things you're going to do 
in terms of trying to improve that sustainability. That's how I would read this, which is, yeah. um, and so in that case, and I understand they are different, like I think this metric model would be a way for us to determine if we are sustaining contributors, that's it. Yeah. It, it's largely about trying to understand our ability to sustain people in the project. Mm -hmm. What do people think about that? These models are ways for us to see things that have occurred, at least this model. Yeah, the, the models are really a way to implement the metrics, whereas yeah. the practitioner guides are how to interpret and take action on what you're yep. seeing, because yep. that's that's the place where uh, where there tends to be a gap between what we've provided in the past and and what we what we haven't. Yeah, like these models are like here are all the things you can see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. kind of full stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guy. Here's how you implement a, a metrics, you know, kind of a okay. metrics package around a topic. But it doesn't tell you what to do with it, right? It doesn't tell you how to make improvements to um you know to make things better. So what do people think of this conversation? I would recommend renaming this to retaining contributors and keeping it completely different. So they don't like collapse on each other. Mm -hmm. I just plus that as well. I think that's, okay. that's a great idea. Okay. So retaining, is that what you said? Yeah, because we're trying to keep them on the project. That's what that's what this whole thing is about, right? Okay. Or contributor retention. That might yeah. be a okay with that one. Contributor retention. I feel like that's more of a thing. Retaining contributors is more of an action. May I ask a question? Of course. Uh, I want to ask a question about the uh, contributor sustainability. Um, I think um, maybe it is better to uh, rename it to contribution sustainability. I think if we um, refer to uh, Contributor sustainability. Uh, it, it may uh, focus more on how to ret uh, retain a contributor. Um, the, but uh, the bus factor uh, is um, not the um, not 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 focused on how to retain a certain contributor. I see what you're saying. So you're saying um, it's it kind of revolves around the type of contributions and who we're retaining, not necessarily just generally speaking, retaining people, but retaining the people who are giving certain contributions over others, or is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, that's what I mean, yeah. I think um, maybe the... Um, the uh, con contrib contribution sus sustainability uh, sustainability may uh, focus more on um, the um, activity that uh, the, the contribution that uh, matters to the uh, community, uh, but not a specific contributor. Don, does that? fall in your realm of your practitioner guide is is how to because I think you mentioned the types of contributions was in your guide so it sounds like maybe there's some overlap there of identifying what what's being contributed and how to keep those types of contributions alive is that um what the what the practitioner guide actually focuses on around other types of contributions is how you can put people in positions that are focused on making other types of contributions to free up maintainer time, which makes the whole contributor situation more sustainable. So if your maintainers are spending a ton of time on documentation and community management and posting things on social media, maybe you can find other people to make those types of contributions. So that's actually kind of the the take that I've the that I've taken in the contributor sustainability guide. Okay, okay, I got it.
Okay. This is very helpful. Thanks for this comment. Yeah, no, this is great. And we don't have to settle on a, a name right now. We can let this play out just a little bit. Um, Kevin, to your comment about this seems to be from wel welcoming this. It looks like Elizabeth tracked that down, that, <laughs> that we did just copy and paste it from something in the welcoming this side. I saw that in a comment. Um, okay, so I, I'd like to propose kind of taking a little bit of time to work on this, if that would be okay with everybody. I know this is this is how we've done things in the past and it's helpful just to kind of lift these back off of the ground. So if we were to think about this metric from a contributor retention or contributor sustainability perspective, like helping write the text, I'm just gonna delete all of this. We can rewrite this. So um, why this matters and what you could do is you could just put in like your own points. It doesn't have to be in a paragraph form. And then, you know, maybe help write some of the user stories. So I, you know, we could do that. These could be sample starters. Um, let's see. Kevin, I'm gonna get rid of your comment there because I think point well taken. So could I could I ask folks to log into this if that's possible? You can get to it through here. I'll put it in the chat as well. And maybe just take a few minutes. as to why this would matter and what a user story could be. So I'll stop sharing my screen.
people doing on typing. Let's see, we should do this like way more often. Like just you, we generate so much stuff <laughs> it's in such a short amount of time. It's really great. But I think it also then pushes the work to editing and synthesizing. It does, which I, I actually don't. It's not necessarily a bad thing. No, I kind of, it's nice. Cause I'm sure like out of all of these points here, you know, a third of them probably overlap approximately as people are typing. So, um, all right, great. Do you need another minute or so to think about this? Some really good ideas in here. So thank you for that. I'm happy to take on the action item to, to bring these together into a more uh, narrative form around why it matters. And then a little bit more around the user stories. Okay. Um, could we, could you give yourself just a second to read some of the things if you haven't? Because the next thing I'm going to ask is what are some of the metrics that we could take a look at that might be useful, at least to start. All right, so I will, I see Elizabeth's already moving into the, <laughs> no apology. I'm that a... person that moves ahead, that, <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right, um, so kind of based on, on this, you know, what, the question is, you know, what are some of the, the metrics that, you know, and again, we're always only looking for four to five that can provide us insight into to that. Don't we have uh, where is the is it second contributor you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's on 12 there, line 12. Oh, it was already oh yeah, it was second contribution. So we could get that published. I think that's actually in the next meeting, <laughs> in the metric <laughs> meeting <laughs> to try to do that. Because that might be a good one too, that if we see people that are making second contributions. I'm going to get rid of the categories of the metrics that's because fine. I think yes. I think that's I don't know I'm getting hung up on that myself. No problem. We can categorize them after we have the list that we want. When I think actually when we are trying to focus on only having you know four metrics, no need to categorize them out. Yeah. Okay, so right now we have we do have four bus factors kind of hanging out there. Yeah, I just typed that in. Okay. Um, so new contributors. That I think that was leftover. What do people think about new contributors as an indicator of sustaining contributors or contributor, you know, contributor retention. I think we, I think it does need to be inclusive, right? It's kind of a, it's a bit of a balancing act, right? So we need to, we need to continue to have new contributors as to replace contributors that are leaving. Uh, but we also need to make sure that the contributors that we're retaining the contributors that we have, right? So, okay. so both so, of them are part of it. Or, yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay, right on. Um, change your request acceptance ratio. I think that one's a holdover from the welcomeness, maybe. Yeah, I'd get rid of that one. Okay. Occasional okay. contributors seems to be pretty logical to me. I don't remember this one at all, but I'm putting it in here. See what y'all think. The committers. I think that's people with 
merge rights. I don't know. It's not, we need to look at that one again. Doesn't seem like a very good clear metric. Number of individuals who have committed code to a project. Yeah, I think that's just a sub, kind of a subcategory of contributors. Like a, a committer is a code contributor, whereas a, a contributor in general is anybody any okay. type of contribute contribution. Got you. Okay. And this one is old, old, old. Like, <laughs> right. We still have like. <laughs> right. um, Here's that. <laughs> well, you... Delete this right now, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I would maybe, I'm not sure about inclusive leadership, um, whether, I, I think we need a leadership or governance metric. I'm not sure if inclusive leadership is the best one. It might be. I'm not sure. How about, how about the uh, the metric that you are going to uh, uh, oversee at the workshop? I forget what that one's called. Or I'm sorry, that's a model. Never mind. Yeah. So let's, okay. So we have new contributors, occasional contributors. Don, you did mean to include bus vector, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, I just didn't put the, I didn't put the link because we need to change all the links anyways. Okay. Um, okay, that makes sense. So I, I do agree though, I would, I'd remove inclusive leadership. Okay. Do we have another candidate that is, I, get, I think what, you're talking about Don is like, is the governance, um, does it support people to stick around in the project and take on roles? Is that right? Yeah. We have mentorship. I, I, I'm i not a super fan of, of the, that fit, but because it's, it's like designed around specific mentorship programs, but I think it's the, the sentiment is there. Of like, how are we supporting you know, people? Yeah, along what there. About, yeah. Uh, what about sponsorship instead? How effective are longtime members who sponsor people in supporting diversity and inclusion in a community? So sponsorship, not dollars. Sponsorship, yeah. people. People. Plus one to that. I was just yeah, I was looking was at good. that one as well. I just don't like the name of that one, but that's just me. Oh, put, it on yeah. the, put it on the agenda for <laughs> it does sound like money a poll, lady right. you can start your own poll <laughs> right <laughs> yes rename it <laughs> actually I, I do agree it should probably be renamed okay but that is that is what people call it they, they refer yeah. to it as like sponsoring sponsoring people it's we, different than mentorship and so it's it's a it's kind of a standard it's becoming a standard industry term um, but it's a confusing one. It does is feel it, like money. Is it new contributor sponsorship or is it contributor sponsorship in general? It's contributor sponsorship in general. In a, in a lot of cases, it's about moving existing contributors into leadership. So if I'm if I'm a maintainer, I might um, you know, I might look at somebody in the community and be like, hey, you know, I want to help you and encourage you and put you up for these leadership positions because I think you're doing really good work. Okay, so it's a bit of a path to leadership metric as well. Yeah. I would, I would propose that we maybe take the sponsorship metric and rename it contributor sponsorship and kind of expand it to be inclusive of the things that Don just mentioned. So not just not just supporting diversity and inclusion, but also supporting a path to leadership for. Yeah. Uh, contributors. I like the idea of maybe renaming it to contributor sponsorship because people see sponsorship and they just assume money. And that's not what it's about. But also, also plus one to adding this one to the uh, model. Okay. If we add sponsorship, I would actually get rid of mentorship. I, I Yeah, I will. Agreed. Yeah, plus one there as well. Probably committers because that one just <laughs> just proposed we flush that one in the trash. <laughs> I, I, I mean, think, I think bus factor gets at gets at committers. Okay, uh, it's a uh, committers is a level of specificity we do want to explore sometimes, and it's a 
And it's something that we can easily measure. It's just a, it's a specific type of contribution. Yeah, we, can so it, we don't need to talk about yeah. it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, this we probably should rewrite it though. Yeah. <laughs> put it up. Put it on the pile, throw it on the pile. All right. Um, this is five. That's great to get people thinking about this. Um, okay. What are y'all thinking? Look at that. Look at all that progress. It's amazing. All right. More to come. I'll bring this up next time in the next meeting. Kind of cleaned up. I very much appreciate the feedback. And Yuhui, you can bring up personnel model next time too. Sure. Okay. All right. So so why don't instead of also doing project decline here, because we only have 15 minutes left, we move to ISO standard discussion so we can give some opportunity there. That would be great. All right. Rachel, maybe you can share your screen or? Oh yeah, I could stop sharing. We... Sure, sure, I will, I will share you the right now. There you go. You should be able to share your screen now. Could you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thanks. Uh, and uh, I'll uh, introduce uh, some literature that I uh, that I read before. Um, I read a uh, totally maybe uh, dozens of uh, literature. Um, but uh, several uh, several uh, maybe uh, half uh. Uh, half of those uh, papers uh, are directly related to the health evaluation. So uh, maybe we uh, we will focus more on the uh, the other half uh, that is um, focus on the specific metric or um, or target uh, uh, of the uh, framework. Um, so uh, today. Uh, I may uh, I mainly um, talk some uh, papers about the um, evaluation uh, health evaluation of um, community. Uh, so uh, the maybe oh, okay. Sorry. Um, firstly, uh, we we uh, divide the uh, community into two parts that is uh, uh that, that are governance and uh, collaboration and uh, there are uh, several uh, papers that um that focus on uh, the two aspects um they uh, they 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 told us that um the uh, leadership and the uh, um, co um collaboration of uh, developers are the um most important two parts uh, of the open source community. So um, uh, the uh, governance and the collaboration um, is uh, is a, a, a good way to uh, uh, to evaluate uh, the health of community. And uh, uh, secondly, uh, there are there are. Many papers that focus on the governance of uh, the community. Uh, for example, some papers focus on the uh, roles and the responsibilities, such as um, the uh, the task uh, assignment uh, and or uh, developer workload or uh, the uh, bus factor, and. Uh, mm, uh, there are also uh, some papers. Uh, Focus on the uh, technical structure and and the uh, design making mechanism 
uh, of uh, the um, community. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the next part is uh, the develop management, uh, such as uh, code, re uh, code review mechanisms and uh, uh, PR, uh, poor request uh, governance. I didn't uh, I didn't mention it here. Uh, uh, but there are, there are uh, several papers um, and focus on the um, poor request governance uh, because there are um, for different uh, for, for different uh, communities uh, their their mechanism to um, merge a poor request may be different uh, and uh, the next part is uh, documentation management and the infrastructure um, complete complete. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, and the uh, the next uh, uh, sorry, I'm a little uh, nervous. Um. You're doing Next. great. No nervous, Richard. You did a great yeah, job. You're doing great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and um, the the third part is the collaboration, and there are hundreds of uh, papers focus on this, especially on um, the um, especially the um, behavior of uh, contributors, uh, and. Uh, uh, among among those um, papers, uh, there are many there are many papers focused on the uh, developer onboarding and the retention, and so I just uh, list uh, some 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 of it. And for a developer onboarding, um, uh, some some uh, some papers focus on uh, the uh, onboarding practice and uh, the. Uh, challenges of mm, new newcomers, uh, and uh, others focus on how to uh, help uh, newcomers onboarding. Uh, for example, they uh, provide a tool or a method uh, for them, uh, or mm, for example, mm, uh, this this article um, provides a tool to um, recommend a good first issue on GitHub, and uh, um, it um it is more um uh, effective uh than um labeling the good first issue um by human and uh, uh, the second part uh, is uh, develop developer retention and uh, um for uh, for for this part um uh, the articles mainly focus on the uh, influencing factors of of long term contributors uh and uh, the next part is uh, responsiveness and uh, mm, uh, there are there are also many papers uh, uh focus on this and uh, uh, for example they they may um do research on the response to uh, changes or um pressure from outside world or uh, and uh, uh, they also focus on the mm, response to users uh, and uh, the last uh, last uh, last part is the community uh, culture uh, or maybe maybe this part can also be a part of um, community governance uh, because it mm, uh, it is related to the code of conduct uh, and uh, uh, some some papers do research uh, s some some researchers do research on uh, the uh, good or bad um, Com uh, good or bad behaviors of contributors and uh, um, others focus on the culture of uh, the uh, community. Uh, and uh, um, besides the uh, community of the open source projects, we also uh, have another part um, that uh, uh, another, uh, we also have another uh, two parts um, Software and the value. The software, uh, for the software part, there is uh there is already uh an ISO standard. So uh we main we mainly focus on the uh value part, 
And uh, for the very part, I um, didn't find um, too many articles. Um, but uh, there are also some papers uh, about the uh, the value uh, that can uh, that that can influence the uh, sustainability and uh, 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 success of the um, open source projects. Um, for example, the uh, the posts on tweets can uh, the, the posts on uh, social media may influence. Uh, the attractiveness of the project and uh, the the download count is uh, also a very um, uh, is is a very uh, is a major uh, metric to uh, evaluate the success of the um, project and uh, uh, those uh, those articles and and not the um, uh, uh, I, I, I didn't uh, list all of my, all of the uh, literature uh, I mm, read. Uh, so, um, because it, uh, I, I, um, I just uh, wrote those, uh, wrote those uh, tables in a hurry uh, today. Uh, thank you. So this is great. So thank you. Um, yeah, do we, can we have, can you share access to this list? Of course, of course. Okay. Because what? Uh, I, maybe, maybe maybe I will uh, change it. Yeah, you can just put it in the chat. It's okay if it's a lot of numbers. Yeah, or, or, or you can, you can um, move it to uh, Google Doc yeah. to make it more oh, easily sure. uh, accessible. Yeah, this website may not be accessible for everyone, I think. So I'm guessing, um, can you stop sharing your screen real fast? Um, sure. Okay. And how can I, how can I? Maybe, maybe I can just let I me just, try. Maybe you can just share your screen, oh, Matt. Yeah, yeah, I think I can just. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. I, I, no, I no. just. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if I could just. So um, the way I. So it sounds like it's in alignment with this model. Do you remember we had talked about this with respect to ISO? Is that correct? But these are this literature to help kind of support and strengthen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. Uh, uh, as you know, that in the last meeting, we when we discussed the the whole structure and yeah. uh, each of single item, we defined. Uh, we are looking forward to set up this reference between our literary literature uh, okay. research achievement between uh, and and uh, the the matrix model and okay. matrix we list here. Yep. So we shall mainly focus on this area. Perfect. And so there, there were four, well, that's okay, we can map it. And so do you remember I had done this? Yeah, yeah. And so I tried to think about what we have existing within the chaos project. So I'm wondering, like Elizabeth, you had said, you know, potentially adding some of these references to our metrics themselves or models themselves, like these would be the first candidates to add them to. See what I'm saying? Like we've already had this. So the literature was speaking to this. I tried to go through and identify what metal, existing metrics models we have. And so then the papers that were just shown could actually be references where appropriate in these different metric models. Does that make sense? Yes, nodding, okay. Yahui, does that? Yes. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, I agree. Okay. 
Um, that seems relatively straightforward, to be honest with you, that mapping activity. So like if I look here, come on. like just down here, for example, what whatever the paper would be <laughs> that is the appropriate paper. That's true. That's true. We would, we would add it here as a reference to help strengthen that particular model as part of this overall design. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, let's, we're out of time, we're right at time, and I'm going to have to stop because I have another meeting at the top. But um, maybe let's continue this conversation in Slack because I think this would be a fairly straightforward thing to do is to try to map. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, during the during the summit, you will talk talk with the Linux Foundation guy yeah. to say how to proceed the whole things about the ISO standard. I got invited so, to a, a joint development foundation social event. I think <laughs> so that's my. I'm gonna go to yeah. that and try to talk to to Jory there. So. So yes, I will be there and I know Jory is going to be there as well. So we will have that conversation and I can bring back, bring that back in two weeks as well. Okay. So anyway, I think, I think Lutia could continue its work to make it more uh, comp comprehensive between the literature and our metrics yeah. and metrics model we defined. Yeah, Richau, have you seen the, do you have access to our minutes? Uh, um, I, I can share yeah, yeah. with her the link. Okay. Um, I'm gonna insert, hold on a second, um, page numbers. So if you see like at the bottom of page two at the moment and the top of page three, these are the existing, I guess I'm not sharing my screen, but at the bottom of page two and the top of page three, these are our existing metric models that at least tentatively map to the different areas of that diagram that I was showing earlier that Yahui had put together. And so the idea would be is, is to issue pull requests or just to issue pull requests so that we could add, in this case, the papers that you have identified that would be useful references for say this particular model. So there'll just be a little bit of work to understand what the model is and which paper would go where. So I think if you could share that document here somewhere or in Slack, we could start doing that together kind of asynchronously if that would work for you. Sure. I'm, I'm just uh, copying my uh, website to the document. Perfect. Um, yeah, just share it with Yahoo or share it in Slack in the metric model channel, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for all this work. And thanks for the very productive meeting. We got that's done today. All right. Packed a lot into 50 minutes. All right. Well, I'll see some of you in, in Seattle. Others, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks so much. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.